I don't know about you folks, but this, this is incredible. Look at that night backdrop behind me. The moon, the aurora borealis. It's beautiful. So yeah, welcome back my friends to the second episode of my Ark Survival Ascended Let's Play. Thank you so much for all of your lovely support on the first episode, my friends. I'm so glad to see you guys as hyped as I am for this new release. There we are. Absolutely beautiful. I gotta say, I'm loving the lighting in this game as well. I mean, just everything looks incredible, doesn't it? So, I have done some tinkering around in terms of performance and graphic settings since the last episode. The main one that increased the performance of this game, like massively so, and I'm going to show you guys the console here. We press the tilde key to bring up the console. I'm simply going to bring up the word cloud. We scroll up to where it says R dot volumetric cloud and then we put a space and then we put zero what that does is it disables the volumetric clouds which as you can see makes it look really quite remarkable if i was wanting to reactivate this at any point though we would go ahead and do space one and bada bing bada boom there we are the volumetric clouds are back and as you can see a noticeable decrease in performance so yeah if you guys are like me and prefer a nice smooth experience Disabled the volumetric clouds and then believe it or not. I'm actually running this on high settings now Epic is still a little bit sort of you know a little bit rough around the edges at points But yeah for the most part I'm now running high settings with medium illumination quality There was a very good reason I've done that and that's because when it was becoming nighttime There were some really weird quirky lighting bits going on almost as if the trees were on fire behind my house here So that's why I've turned down the illumination quality to medium because that pretty much ridded that problem immediately. But yeah, there we go. This game is looking absolutely beautiful and we got a nice smooth experience here. So yeah, my friends, if you're looking to improve the performance while not necessarily sacrificing the quality and fidelity of the game, then yeah, hopefully this video serves as a little bit of a guide for you. Now, of course, my friends, before getting on with anything else, I do of course want to say if you guys are still enjoying this series and want to continue seeing more, if you want to support this series, drop a like beneath the video. It's the easiest way of letting me know that you guys are enjoying this. Hit the subscribe button, of course, if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off. Anyway, long-winded intro out of the way, my friends. I apologize about that, but I do know that performance is a big, big talking point with this game right now. So I figured I'd tag along that little guide at the beginning there. Just to help folks, basically. Today, my friends, what we're going to be doing is we are hopefully going to be taming our first creature. It's the Moss Chops. I'd love to try and get a Moss Chops, my friends. It is one of the greatest early game tames in Ark Survival Evolved anyway. I don't know about this game. So, maybe we find out if it still is one of the greatest early tames you can get in Ark. As you can see, I've organized my inventory since the last episode. We've got a chest for resources, berries and seeds, valuables and gear. What we're going to do is we're going to pop into this chest and we're basically going to grab out every kind of berry there is, aside from narco and stim berries. Then I feel like we'll have a pretty okay chance of actually being able to tame a moss chops, because for any of you guys who can't remember, moss chops require one of a variety of resources resources to be able to be tamed. Some of them take those rare flower things, some of them take rare mushrooms, and some of them will take only a humble berry. So I feel like if I take a whole bunch of berries, we might have a decent chance of actually being able to tame one, you know what I'm saying? So, before we do anything though, what I'd like to do to hopefully help you guys be able to see what the devil is going on here, I think what we'll do is we'll create ourselves a torch. So we need stone and flint, so we'll bring that over here. And bada bing, bada boom. And one thing that I saw on Syntax video is you are able to put this on your belt. And look at that. We have a light source and we don't necessarily have to hold it. Like if I do orbital camera, it's in a bit of a questionable position, <laughs> I must admit. Like, I mean, it is definitely keeping my belly warm, but, uh, you know... Flames plus cloth. 
not typically a good mixture, is it? But no matter, my friends, we're just about ready to do this thing. We're going to go exploring and we'll be able to see what the devil is going on. But in terms of being able to see things, it actually turns out that Ark Survival Ascended has that in the bag. Unlike Ark Survival Evolved, where the darkness was just ridiculous, in this game, you can actually see even on the default gamma at nighttime. In fact, to be honest, it looks absolutely stunning. So then, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of the time, if you scour a beach, you will typically find moss shops just sort of roaming around. I'd like to hope that is still the case. Wait a minute, I recognize this area. I think I've set up a base here multiple times in the past, my friends. And if I am where I think I am, I'm pretty sure there's an explorer note to be had. At the very tippity top here, behind this tree. Yep, there we are. There's the little stone structure. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our first explorer map of the series. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't even see this. Oh! <laughs> it's the tiniest thing I've ever seen. There's a naturally occurring baby dodo, and you cannot for the life of you see it in the undergrowth here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so tiny. Wow. I thought the baby Dilophosaurus were tiny. No, no, no. Baby dodos, bro. They're tinier. So yeah, there we go. That was our first explorer note of the entire series. You do still get the typical 10 minutes of XP boost, which is fantastic. And check this out. We've got four levels up. That is absolutely beautiful. A little bit of carry weight and a little bit of health. And we're going to see what we can get with all the beautiful stuff we have access to now. We have Apache Saddle. We have Cementing Paste. Definitely. We've got Stimulants. We've got a Carbon Emmer Saddle. Power Source Saddle. Bowler. We've got Crop Plots. We've got Bows and Arrows. Yes, yes, and yes. Most definitely going to be needing Arrows. Uh, remind me, when do we get Tranquilizer Arrows? Level 21. Okay. So we're still a little bit off in terms of being able to unlock that. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. We've got Narcotics Unlocked. Now we've got spark powder, a spyglass would be a good idea, and a cooking pot, or maybe a small crop plot. Cooking pot. Beautiful. Here we go, my friends. A female moss chops, and it looks like it only needs tinto berries. It's a bit of a low level to start off with, but uh, I mean... I do like moss jobs. They really are one of the greatest early game tames in this game. So, bada boom. Yeah. I tamed my first dino. Epic. <laughs> All right, very good. What I'd like to know. Holy crap, that's an alpha freaking megalodon. No way, Jose. Oh, hell nah. Okay, um, right. Well, I mean, we've come across our first alpha of the series, and it's an alpha megalodon. Um, okay. Well, the good news is what I did was I crossed the river sort of a little bit further up this way. So the hope is I'll be able to cross it again and then hopefully get myself back to base. Holy guacamole. I can't believe there's an alpha megalodon in there. That is absolutely ridiculous. So real quick, checking out the moss chop stats. We've got 670 health, 420 stamina. We have ourselves 230 carry weight and 151% melee damage, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's pretty run of the mill. There's a little baby trike following those trikes and it's absolutely adorable. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, cross over here. Hopefully, oh, good grief. Okay, here we go. No! Oh hell! No! 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 Stop! 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 Trying to kill my dude. And there we have it. Just about managed to cross the river. All is well. Okay. So we got ourselves a level up for this bad boy. Let's have a little bit of. God! Stop! Oh no! I'm dead. I'm so dead. So that just happened. Bunch of raptors, a terror bird in there as well for good measure. Uh huh. There's raptors everywhere, bro. What the hell? They almost have spawned in after I crossed the river. Unbelievable. Is that an otter? Oh! Stop! <laughs> I 
I was kind of hoping that that uh, Alpha Megalodon might have, you know, buggered off into the ocean. But um, no, he decided to stick around. <laughs> oh, no. All right, respawning at our sleeping bag. The good news is we're at the beginning of the game, so I don't think we need to worry too much about dying. We can get our stuff back reasonably easy. Oh, boy. Right. So, uh, yeah, we're back with the Parasaurs. I don't much feel like going back to my death location and trying to get my stuff back. Not while there's an Alpha Megalodon in the mix. So, let's just let's just get ourselves some new stuff, eh? <laughs> yeah, you can knock me down, but I come right back up, my friends. Look at this. The new and improved Pythonator. I've got four spears now, not just three. I've got myself a bow and a whole bunch of arrows. And as a result of making all this stuff, I've got myself a couple levels up. So, do you know what? Let's go for a little bit of carry weight. We've got 29 engram points to spend, and we're level 16. Look at you! We finally have access to a large storage box. And it turns out it groups the bookshelf into that as well, which is very, very cool. We've got gunpowder as well, which is fantastic. And if we really wanted to, and to be honest, I think I do want to, we have access now to hide armor. So we're going to go ahead and start unlocking the hide armor as time goes on, and we'll upgrade in due course. So, ladies and gentlemen, we now have the task of trying to find ourselves another Moss Chops, because I don't feel like it did a very good job in showcasing the fact that it still is one of the greatest early game teams in Ark. Um, yeah, that was a low level one. It had 600 and something health. It wasn't a lot. It was going to die pretty damn quickly, wasn't it? So, uh, I mean... If we're going to do it, we're going to have to do it well. We need to find ourselves a high level one, okay? So yeah, crossing this river, unfortunately, it's out of the question. Yeah, we found our first moss drops over there, but um, didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> Let's see if we can find ourselves another one, my friends. A nice high level one. Oh, this one requires a rare flower, ladies and gentlemen, but it is level 55. Mm. The only thing is, the easiest way I can think of to get rare flowers early on is to try and find yourself a beaver dam. Those bad boys have rare flowers in them. However, I've just had an idea. I wonder if I could cheese this, relog, and see if it has a different taming requirement. Bear with me. No way that actually works. Okay. <laughs> So, Tinto Berries, my friends, that's what we're needing for this bad boy. Bada bing, bada boom. We have a slightly higher level Moss Chops. It's still not as high a level as I would have liked. What I usually do is go for level 100 pluses, but this will still do the job. This is a female Moss Chops at level 82. Let's see what kind of stats it's rolling around with. Yeah, this is way more like it. 1125 health, 840 stamina, 240 carry weight, and 204% melee damage. Yeah! Alright! This feels pretty good! So there you go, if you come across a Moss Chops that requires something you don't have on you, just relog, and apparently it'll change the taming requirement, my friends. Let's see what kind of damage this guy can do! Bada boom, bada boom, 65 damage. That's not too bad, I would say! The only thing is... Yeah, the Power Saw can outrun me. Darn it! Okay, never mind. Hello, Dodo! How you doing? Yeah! Absolutely ruined. Wait, am I not picking stuff up? I didn't know that. How did I not know that? You can't harvest a dodo with a uh, moss chops. Interesting. We can kill a dodo with a moss chops. I mean, that is absolutely no issues whatsoever. But there we are. Yeah. Lots of stuff. We've got ourselves a level up, which is beautiful. Do we want to start going for movement speed? You know what? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking a big fat yes. We are at level 17 now. We have access to a water tank, bug repellent, trike saddle. Ooh. You know what? A trike saddle is not a bad idea. If we can get ourselves a triceratops, we basically have near infinite access to berries. Fantastic. All right. For now, though, let's see what kind of stuffs we've got going on with this gal. Got ourselves a couple of levels up. 1240 health now. Yeah, we we're about to make ourselves a freaking monster moss chops. Oh, no way, a trillo bite. These guys don't even have levels. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. 
400 plus chitin? That's what we just got from that guy? We've got black pearls as well. Oh, man. These things are mega valuable. We do not want to be passing those bad boys up. Hey, that's not bad, actually. If we can find ourselves some more Trillo Bites, that'd be fantastic. We can get ourselves chitin armor later down the line. All right. Upgrading the melee damage. Upgrades it by about 3% per level, which is all right, I guess. All melee damage is good melee damage, in my opinion. So, boom. 66 damage is what we're doing now. I wonder... Do we want to tame a Lystro as well? I think that'd be a good idea. Feed Tinterberry to tame. Oh, really? 98.8%. <laughs> wow, okay. I mean, we're just going to have to wait it out at this point. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we are finally back at base. And we're about to have not one creature, but two. That's pretty cool. Okay. Right, let's see if we can't park this guy up real quick. Yeah. Right, uh, I don't think I've got my keybind set. I want to have this guy not follow me. Behavior. Uh, right, what have we got? Disable following. There we go. Yeah, you can just stay there, buddy. And check this out, my friends. We do have some additional harvesting levels. Oh, look at all this, though. Okay, we definitely want rare flowers. And we definitely want mushrooms and polymer. Yeah, very cool. Okay, very, very nice. If we could get ourselves this Lystro... Then we're going to be looking pretty good. And there we go. Absolutely fantastic. Kind of wish I could pick this guy up to move him around a little bit easier. But do you know what? Never mind. This guy seems to be keeping up with no issues whatsoever. Also, why does it say following human? I mean, yeah, I am a human. But I have a name. I'm pretty sure I gave myself a name anyway. Did I not? Oh. Um... <laughs> Apparently, I'm called human. Okay, um, brilliant. <laughs> I don't know how that came to pass, but there we are. We're, we're called human. There we go. I've just set my buttons, and we should be looking pretty dang good. I wonder if I can get this guy to come inside the base. Come on, little Lystro. In you come. In you come. Come on, up the stairs. Get yourself in here. Wait, can you even get in? Yeah. Uh, if I could get you to, like, come out of the doorway, that'll be brilliant. So here we go, my friends. A good old Lystro. We're going to go ahead and pat it and check it out. Our Moss Chops is getting an increased amount of XP. Fantastic. All right, let's give you a little bit of health. Let's see what kind of stuff you got going on. I'm going to give you some more melee damage because why not? And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and empty this guy's inventory. Aside from maybe some meat because I know that you're an omnivore. You can eat just about anything. So let's give this Moss Chops a bit of a test run. We're doing some delicate harvest. Harvesting here. Holy crap, holy, did you just give me a lot of stuff there? Wow. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of stuff. Okay, how about some more? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, right. That's a lot of stuff that you got now. Fantastic. So there we have it, my friends. Two creatures tamed. The good old Moss Chops and a good old Lystro Saw. A nice little combo. I'm sure you guys would agree. It's always nice to have a Lystro just to be able to boost the XP rate of a whole bunch of the creatures that surround it. So, yeah. Very good. Very good. I mean, yeah, we had a little bit of a time of it earlier with our first Moss Chops, but we're just going to sort of gloss over that, I think. <laughs> and we're going to wrap up today's episode on a high. Not one, but two creatures. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like beneath the video. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.